it's a fact of life that if something is easy to do, more people will do it. This is a blessing and a curse, particularly in the case of comics. Because they are not that difficult to make, requiring only a few people, moderate expenses, and a quick turnaround time, we have a huge variety of independent comics about everything under the sun. And most webcomics are free to read. But there's an awful lot of them, so making an impact with a comic is unfortunately hard to do. So, I thought I would show off an interesting entry into the Magical Girl subgenre I came across during my time in the wild hinterlands of the World Wide Web. Allow me to introduce you to the webcomic Chaos Arena Crystal Fighters. The premise is basically a Maho Shoujo take on Ready Player One crossed with Fight Club. Our main characters are Stella, who's kind of a scrappy tomboyish type, and Jessica, who's more an airheaded gamer girl. They live in a not-too-distant future with virtual reality holodeck Sword Art Online style video games that really immerse you into the experience, if you know what I mean. Stella and Jessica, being younger characters, have some restrictions on what they're allowed to play, so they both decide to play a magical girl-themed video game and get sucked into the underground tournament arc-style fights that happen in the more hidden parts of the servers. And in true anime tournament arc style, the girls will take on opponents with different abilities and fighting styles that will challenge them in many different ways. The comic was created by Jen and Taylor Bartell. Jen, the artist, has worked for Marvel, DC, Disney, Dark Horse, and Image in various capacities. Taylor, on the other hand, handles the writing duties. According to an interview I read, the comic was inspired by things like Sailor Moon, Dragon Ball Z, the 90s anime project AKO, and, interestingly, the commercial for the board game Crossfire, one of the greatest, hammiest 90s commercials of all time. Now, if all of this seems interesting, you can find the comic on an app called Stella. Yes, the same name as the main character. Now, I'm going to level with you. This app does not sound all that good. Stella, the app, comes off like a worse version of Webtoons. If you are not familiar with the concept, Webtoons is a way to read comics on your phone, essentially. Unlike traditional comic books... These online comic strips are meant to be read going from top to bottom in a series of essentially panels that are stacked on top of each other. So you're going to end up scrolling down as you read the comic. I think that this is a really cool format. Not only is it a way to digest comics in a more digital, up-to-date format, it also means that creators can think of their comics Less on a page-by-page -page basis, and more on a panel-by-panel -panel basis. It has a lot of interesting possibilities for how the comic flows, what you do with fight scenes. It's a cool concept. But unfortunately, Stella doesn't seem like it's making the most of it. Unlike Webtoons, which allows anyone to put their comics up, for the community's approval, with the most popular titles being the most heavily advertised and marketed to consumers, Stella is curated with a set of titles, and the whole thing essentially functions like an old-style comic house, a la Marvel, DC, Image, Dark Horse, Choose Your Company. The app is available from the Google Play Store, and you have to buy comics through the app in order to read them. Also, the app reads data off your phone, which is not a great thing for a piece of entertainment software to be doing. Thank you very much for joining me in this look at Chaos Arena Crystal Fighters. If you're interested in supporting my work outside of YouTube, check out Sorceress, a dark fantasy mystery RPG available right now on Steam. Follow the link in the description to watch the trailer. And if you'd like more videos on anime, movies, TV shows, comic books, or video games, check out Stupid Private right here on YouTube. Hey kids, today's show is brought to you by the letter 4 and the number potato! I'm a stupid private.